Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today Apple has released iOS 15.2. This is the latest big update coming to iOS 15 with a lot of new features and changes that will make iOS 15 much, much better and maybe even change the mind of those who don't want to update to iOS 15. So it brings more than 20 new features and changes and we're going to talk all about those in a few seconds. So in this video, we're going to learn everything about the new features, battery life, performance and everything else that you need to know regarding iOS 15.2. Now another thing you need to know is that the like button on this video is really really helpful. It will help this video and this channel a lot so make sure you smash the like button. All right, first of all, the size of the update is quite big. Of course, it's a big update and it should come to your device at around five gigs. That's always, of course, different on different devices and different based on which current software you have installed on your device, but expect quite a large file. It should be at around five gigs on most devices. Now, if you want to update to iOS 15.2, of course, the way to do it, simply go to settings, go to general software update, and you should see an update right here for iOS 15.2. That is, of course, if you have iOS 15.1 or 15.1.1 installed on your device or an older version. If you have the beta of iOS 15.2, then you will need to go ahead and go right here under VPN and device management and make sure you remove the beta profile, reboot your device, and then go ahead and update. But if you have the RC version installed, that means that you already have the public version of iOS 15. It is the same iOS 15.2, it is the same, it has the same build number, so you don't have to actually update and you won't get an update at all because that's the exact same version. Now let's move on to the new features and changes of iOS 15.2. All right, first of all, we're heading on to the settings app. Under privacy here, we have app privacy report. Now, this was a feature that used to be on iOS 15 since the release of iOS 15, but there was no UI here at all, so you couldn't see anything at all. Now it has been updated and it has a full UI here. So you will have three different sections here. You have data and sensor access, you will have app network activity and then right here you will have website network activity and you will see also most connected domains right there at the bottom now if you go to one of these so let's say data and sensor access right there we go to messages you can see everything that an app has used on your device so you can see messages has used my contacts and my photos you can see 15 54 seconds ago and that was five days ago as well so it will show you all details right here whatever an app has used and the exact time when they did use that so you will have here all the apps you can go to show all and see a list of the apps and you can sort them of course alphabetically or by recent access and you will have the same here for app app network activity right there and you will have of course website network activity as well so again get all the details of whatever apps are using on your device very very important of course for your privacy and if you want to save these reports you can go ahead and always just tap the share button right there and make sure you save this as a file and you can do that of course by saving it under your files app but again you can always now go ahead and take a look at all the activity right here under the app privacy reports section on the settings app of course, one of the biggest changes on iOS 15 was the new notification summary feature. Now with iOS 15.2, we have a new design and it looks much, much better. So when you get notifications, you will see a new design now. And of course it has new features as well. So usually you will see like something like this, or you will see like those little cards right there. And it also, it's a bit rounder here on the corners. But what's really cool is that if you tap on your notifications right there, so let me just unlock the device. If you tap on the notifications here, now you can go ahead and clear all the notifications on summary at once. Previously, you had to do this one by one. Now, of course you can do that as well, but you can go ahead and just tap that little X button right there at the top, and that will let you clear completely the whole notifications on the notification summary with iOS 15.2. A very welcome change can now be found on the music app as well. If you go to the music app and you go to one of your playlists, what you can do now is just swipe down and now you will have the ability to search songs and artists or albums within a playlist.
playlist. Very, very useful. Of course, a lot of users have been asking about this feature for a long time. Now it's finally here with iOS 15.2. A really important change that Apple has made on the settings app on iOS 15.2 is the ability to now view the service history of iPhone's parts like battery or screen. So you can see how it will look like if you have on your iPhone a battery or maybe a camera or a screen that has been replaced. This is what iOS will now show on your device. So when you go to general and about, you will see here parts and service history that will be for the battery and the camera. You can see it says genuine Apple part. And of course it says the same for the camera, but if that's not an Apple part, it will show you like this. So you can see right here, display unknown part. That will let you know that that device has a part that is not genuine and of course has been replaced by a third party. This will be very, very important, especially for people who want to maybe purchase an iPhone that has been used. You need to know whether everything is genuine on that iPhone. Now with iOS 15.2, that will be very simple to do. Legacy contact is another big feature of iOS 15.2. So you go to the top of the settings app on your profile, go under password and security, you will get their legacy contact. And from here, you can add your legacy contacts. Now you can even add, of course, multiple contacts and it's pretty easy to do. You tap right here, tap add legacy contact and simply go ahead and choose one of the contacts that you have on your contacts list. And you can add them, of course, as your legacy contact and you have the access key that you share with them and of course they will be able to be your legacy contact which is actually really really important to do so you add someone you trust from your from someone from your family and you're good to go now legacy contacts not only can be added they can of course be removed as well so if you go to one of the contacts you can right here view their access key and of course you can even remove that contact from your legacy contact that will be very very easy and of course as i said it also allows you to have multiple contacts so you can have a couple of even more contacts as your legacy contact you can also remove or view their access key anytime you want there is a change under emergency and SOS as well. So now you can disable call with five presses. Now, a lot of times you will probably invoke this by accident. It happened to me a lot of times while just cleaning my device. Now you can actually go ahead and just disable that completely from here. And the countdown now with iOS 15.2 is actually eight seconds instead of five. So that's a change as well. But the biggest change here, call with five presses can now easily be disabled under the emergency and SOS settings. Hide my email has been one of the biggest privacy features that Apple has added to iOS and now with iOS 15.2 you will get this banner on your email app so it says hide my email this message has been forwarded to your inbox so basically it gives you this banner here letting you know that of course hide my email is working and it everything is as it should be very very important of course apple doing a great job always with the privacy settings that they've been adding with ios 15 especially talking about privacy when you go to your seller data option under the settings app you will now get limit ip address tracking this is also a new feature that apple has added to ios 15.2 now you can find it under seller data as well so you can of course enable it from here limit ip address tracking by hiding your email ip address of course from trackers in mail and safari now can be used with seller options as well you can of course also find this under your Wi-Fi network. So go to any Wi-Fi network, simply tap on the little I button and you will get limit IP address tracking there as well. Of course, the ability to enable or disable it right here. And it does the same, basically will protect you from unknown trackers on mail and the Safari app. There are also changes on the TV app with iOS 15.2. So if you go to the TV app, you will see now a new tab here for the store. So now we have a store tab here. And of course you can browse all the different movies here or you can switch to TV shows. So you have two different sections there for movies and TV shows. That of course is pretty cool and makes it much, much easier for you to find any TV show or movie that you want. 
and this is new as well. When you take a look at the details of any picture on iOS 15.2, now it will also show you here an indicator which lets you know whether that picture has been taken with a night mode on or off and also shows you here the seconds, the seconds you get of course while taking a picture with a night mode based on how dark the environment is. You will see now that detail right here under the photo details iOS 15.2 will add the new communication safety feature on iMessage as well. That's basically preventing childs from like seeing photos that they shouldn't do. So what you can do with that is of course enable it and that is done by going to the screen time settings and enabling screen time of course. Then if you have a child on your account that you will be able to actually have them from here enable that actually you enable that feature directly from here we'll see them in the list right here and that will be able of course to let you enable that safety feature which actually is really really important Moving on to performance, now performance on iOS 15.2 has been really good. I had this update since beta 1 and it's quite solid, didn't like experience any like major issues with performance whatsoever. And taking a look here at the Geekbench scores, we can see a bit of difference between iOS 15.1 and of course 15.2. So this is right here 15.1, so the single core score 1605, 1606 on iOS 15.2 of course almost exactly the same but we have a slight increase here on the multi-core score so we have 4199 on 15.1 while we have 4290 here on iOS 15.2 so that's quite a solid like improvement there on the multi-core score otherwise the device has been really really stable with 15.2 although of course there might be bugs we're going to talk about those bugs in a few seconds here now let's move on to the battery so battery as well has been quite solid on iOS 15.2 I can't say that I have noticed any like big improvements from iOS 15.1 but it has been quite good I can say maybe it's two or three percent better than iOS 15.1 and it has been quite stable no like major battery drains or whatsoever now what I did notice is of course that when I updated to iOS 15.2, finally my device has dropped the maximum capacity. This device has been standing on 100% of maximum capacity for like 9 months or so. Now it has finally dropped to 98% of course since I have updated my device to iOS 15.2 beta 1. So basically the, the device, the battery will be quite good don't like expect any like major battery drains or stuff like that because ios 15.2 is quite stable moving on to like the biggest bugs of ios 15.2 that of course will be bugs that people will experience of course that's basically based on what device you have and all that most bugs will be on device basis but there is quite a major bug that most people like have reported a lot of people have actually reported with iOS 15.2 and that's a bug with the auto brightness so a lot of people have been reporting the same bug auto brightness not working with iOS 15.2 even though they might have auto brightness turned on auto brightness will actually not work as it should hopefully this has been fixed i know with beta 4 a lot of people reported that this has been fixed but there have also been reports that this bug is still persistent on a lot of devices even with the rc version another basically bug that i have experienced and i'm experiencing this since like 15.1 i believe is that the keyboard most of the times will fail to show up right here under the app library and that's really really annoying i've been waiting for apple to basically fix this for months now it hasn't been done but overall it's quite a good update of course with great features and i suggest everyone should go ahead and update their device to ios 15.2 so that's basically it for this video guys this is ios 15.2 for more ios 15.2 videos make sure to subscribe and of course leave a like on this video and i'll see you on the next one